Hi there. Welcome to today's tutorial on remote info files. What are these files? Well they are just a plain text file that lists all the available remote items for a single device in your Reason Rack. The Combinator remote info file now showing, starts with the word scope and on the second line manufacturer and model, separated by a tab character. The third line is where you find the device manufacturer name and its device ID. This is also separated by a tab character and is what you insert into your remote map file to start defining the mappings for your controller. This is followed by a blank line and then the four items, remotable, min, max, input type and output type. These four items are each separated by one tab character. Below this are the listed remote items for the device, each value separated by a tab character. You only use the first item, remotable, in your remote map but the other items are there to help you decide if you should use a pot, fader, encoder or button on your controller to remote control that device item. Each different remote item is on a new line, so it is clear to see. All remote info files created by Reason follow the exact same format. To create a remote info file for a device in your Reason Rack, just place the device in your rack and make sure it has focus. Then from the file menu click the option, Export Remote Info File. This will give you a save dialog box, where you can choose where to save the file. Once saved, you can use it to help you create a remote map for your MIDI controller. See the next tutorial to learn how. If you found this helpful, please share with others or subscribe for more videos. Please leave your comments and questions below, we will aim to answer everyone.